Um, in fact, I, I was my wife and I were both laughing because one of the accusations that was made was um, you're always, you're always throwing your your degree around. No, I've never if you go back and look at my my stuff, I've never ever brought it up unless I've been called stupid, dumb, idiot, retard. In that case, then I'm like, okay, here's my education. Prove you're not stupid, dumb, idiot, and a retard. Do you have a master's of science degree? Yes or no? I do not have a master's okay. degree. And we are not peers. So sit down. Class is now in session. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to school you. Ooh, you got mad when I called you out on that no. physics degree, no. didn't you? Hey, Jesse, no, you're going to need to be Jesse. quiet and stop interrupting I'm JM. I muted bad. him. Hey, hey, JM, I muted okay. him. I'm Jesse, not, you're not going to have to stop talking over JM because he has a master's in science and you I'm don't. Mad. And you don't. I'm not mad, Jesse. Jesse, you're, yeah. you're making the assumption, as everyone does, that you have to have a, a degree in order to be an established authority on a figure. That is a taught that is a taught understanding by a flawed system that we're taught as children through the system that, oh, I have to go to college. Oh, I have to have a degree. Oh, my God, this doctor's got to have a physicist degree in order to be a physicist. Hey, guess what? That's not – that doesn't make somebody an established authority. All it means is so, that – Go ahead. Could you please tell me where you got your degrees and what fields of science or whatever your degree is Absolutely. is in? Sure. Absolutely. My bachelor's degree is in film production and not just <laughs> Hold on. Hold on there, genius. Because I'm going okay, to show you okay. why it's applicable. Did you know that science is biology, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, and the technology and environmental sciences. So anything having to do with technology is also part of science. Why? Because it has what we call a variable, a testable variable, okay, which science has to have. So astronomy is not a science. Astrophysics, not a science, because there's no testable, no variable testable, or no testable variable in those sciences. So Film production, however, is. Now, the reason film production is relevant, Jesse, is because you were taught, like I was taught, we all were taught, that they walked on the moon. The problem with that is someone with my expertise can go into those videos, tear them apart, and show you that those are men on wires, that there's two different light sources coming. Because as a producer, Jesse, as a film producer, Jesse, which is also what I am, okay, I have the authority in that technical field in order to explain that. So, first problem, again, sit down, school's now in session. My second, my second degree is in instructional design and technology, which is also, as I just established, a science. Now, here's before you laugh, here's the here's the point. An instructional design and technology degree means that you know the you know the books that you get in school that you read? I'm the person that puts those books together, Jesse. I'm the one that actually is responsible for teaching or, or establishing the teaching tools that you use in school. So that also makes me a subject matter expert basically on anything that I present because I have to because I have a scholar's degree, Jesse. Now, if you don't know the definition of a scholar, it is somebody with a graduate level of education. Now, did you have something of value you could add? Yes, I would not be so condescending and wave my degrees around when your bachelor's is in film production and your master's is in, what was that? Can you repeat that? What was hey, your master's? Jesse. What's Jesse. the first word, Jesse? Instruction. Instruction, which means I can walk into any university and teach. So sit down and be quiet. Yeah, and also, Jesse, you can't, you can't. Jesse. All of this has nothing to do with my show. We're here to debate right. science, not people's accreditations. I've already right. gotten over this idea that, oh, people with a name tag or people with a degree, oh, they know everything, and we got to believe everything they say. No, 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 Jesse. That's not how things work in reality. That's not how things work on my show. We present well, evidence. Even, we present I evidence. Even do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, Jesse, you're all off base, dude. You And, and I know it hurts. That we're over here crushing your globe religion, and this man is very well educated—not just well educated, but intelligent and informed. And I know it hurts 
It hurts like a deer in the headlights. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? These guys aren't idiots. They're not stupid. They've actually done experiments and observations, which you haven't done any, Jesse. You haven't done any. So you're out of your league. How do you know? Here's my point. Gravity is demonstrable. You said weight had nothing to do with gravity, which sparked my suspicions about your physicist claim. Wait, I'm sorry. He started talking about your physicist claim again. I muted him. Yeah. JM, okay. could you please explain, again, because he didn't understand, that weight has nothing to do with okay. gravity. Sure. Okay. So weight is an established phenomenon. It's been established for thousands of years. Okay. Gravity's only been around for... Um, how long do you want to give it, Nate? Because I've got yeah, two different two, numbers. 300 years, 400 years, the most, 300, 300, 400 years. Okay. When you establish a phenomenon, the definition of that phenomenon cannot be mixed with another another phenomenon. So weight has to, is its own phenomenon. Okay, Gravity is a separate phenomenon. In fact, if you go to my website, you'll see that they've taken the, the mathematical equation for electromagnetism and given it to gravity. Yep. That is what we call, you cannot, that, that is that is absolutely a false, um, what's the word, damn it? Equivalency? Yes, it's false equivalency, fallacy, okay? You cannot measure apples and oranges. Weight is weight. Gravity would be gravity. Gravity's never actually been established, okay? In any, in any realm. So just because it's in the textbooks, it's never actually been given a definition either by established science. Neither has facts. Those are facts. Those aren't my opinions. Go look it up, Jesse. Those are physics facts. It's my turn. You are incorrect. Those are not facts. You cannot differentiate gravity from weight like you want it to be. Weight no, is no, no, no. only existent because of mass times gravity. Okay, you please. only get weight with the acceleration that is gravity. Wait, mass times mass times what? Mass times gravity no, no. is weight. No, no. Mass times velocity. Gravity. Oh, you is, messed up. You, no, you messed no, up, no, big. No. It's not velocity. Oh, I messed up. Because you're an established. Because you're an established professional. We've already it's established acceleration. that. It's right? acceleration. Hold on. Okay. I will concede that. We'll call it acceleration. It, I'm I helping you out. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. A physicist should know that. Ooh, here comes Nathan. <laughs> Go on. Go. I just had, I had to throw in a jab. Go on. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning of elementary school. Weight, density, and buoyancy. Where's gravity? <laughs> I don't need gravity because Are you serious? buoyancy and density explain, with weight, things falling. Velocity what? is an explanation of the speed at which it falls. Now, stay with me. I realize these concepts are hard to, to grasp, okay? But because buoyancy is what causes something to float. Density is what causes something to fall. The weight establishes the speed at which that thing falls. That is, in You're fact, wrong. if you go, hold on, I'm going to show you just how wrong I am. If you go look up the definition you of are by explaining your position. Hold on, hold on, because hold on, I'm... I'm I'm going to close the book on you real quick. Okay, you ready for this? I can't wait. What? Uh, uh, I've been waiting all night. Go look up the definition of mass. You will find the word weight there. You can't have two words with two separate phenomenons in the same definition. So <laughs> I suggest you go back to school. That's just my suggestion. Mm -hmm. So should I actually give some real facts? Bro, you have no arguments, no scientific arguments. All you do is I just pulled it. the rug out from underneath you. Yeah, you just pulled my, the rug out. My argument is that you're so wrong about density making things I, wait, I'm, Prove I'm it. wrong you're because you said so? Wait, wait, wait. Give Prove me it. the observed phenomenon that proves me wrong. Because density, buoyancy, and... and, and now wait, I, I have a, wait. I, I'm so confused by you. Density, buoyancy, and volume wait. have already... Or not even volume. Wait, wait. Density, wait. Buoyancy, 
<laughs> I've never, if you go back and look at my my stuff, I've never ever brought it up unless I've been called stupid, dumb, idiot, retard. In that case, then I'm like, okay, here's my education. Prove you're not stupid, dumb, idiot, and a retard. Okay, we have tons of flat evidence for flat Earth. What go is look that at on my, YouTube? Go no, go look at my channel, jamtruth.com. I have a master's of science degree. Okay, I teach this stuff. So does Nathan's got probably far more experience than I do. Even at, and Nathan's freaking should be a neurosurgeon. So, you know, for you to come in here and say, well, we haven't done anything, bro. My website is set up like a scholar's website because I am a scholar. I didn't so, say you haven't done anything, just in case. Okay, great. So, but I can't go to peer review and present my information. Why? Because they will never accept it. This has been done already. They've had people going for their doctorates, walk into a peer review, present all the evidence for Flat Earth and their, and their books that they're writing and been kicked out of the peer review process. This is a fact, bro. It's not even arguable. Okay. I've also pulled apart all of the NASA, or I shouldn't say all, I've pulled apart hundreds of NASA photos in real time, proving there's not one photograph of Earth from space. Well, wait a minute. Your pseudoscientists have already said they took a ton of pictures from space. No, they didn't. They made computer-generated images. So, like Nathan said, you come here... And you prove the globe, because I'm done disproving it. Hey, Nathan. All right, Jose. How about we? How about we do this? I'm going to give you some simple, some very, very simple examples. At the equator, the curvature of the Earth is eight inches times miles squared. However, let's say it's nine miles. Okay, go ahead. It doesn't even, even matter. Doesn't even let me finish my point, please, before you rudely interrupt me. Thank you. But if the more I go towards the North Pole, the curvature increases. So the mathematical equation of eight inches times miles squared is only good at the equator. Um, JM, uh, I'm not following. I'm I gotta following disagree that. with you here too. It's a ball. It curves the same in every direction, dude. I don't know where. Actually, you're, where, it's a little, it's a little saying, wider in the equator here. If I'm flying over, if I'm flying over the thirtieth meridian, the curve is is greater than when I'm at the equator. So you've done this. You find through the meridian. I don't need to do it. it. Oh, okay. So you're just talking, you just rhetoric. Okay. No, 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 no. You can look at a ball and tell. The curvature is greater the closer you get to the poles. I disagree with everything JM's saying right now. I've never heard this argument, but go if ahead. You fly, if you, if I'm okay, if I'm flying, JM, right or left, it's a ball. It curves the same in every direction, everywhere. I mean a sphere, yeah, a spheroid, yeah. Not a ball, but if you want to call it ball, it's okay. So this idea that it curves more in certain areas than it does in others is stupid. No. Nathan, if I'm a pilot and I'm flying over Earth, you realize that the downward force you'd have to give that aircraft in order to stay level is greater the closer you go to the poles. Okay, yeah, because you have less of a circumference. If you're flying Correct. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry if I didn't make that clear. Yeah, sense. okay. Yeah, if you're flying east or west. Right. I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm not crazy about this. I, I wasn't clear on my explanation. I apologize. Yeah, to where eventually you get to the North Pole and you're just making a circle, like to right. the right. Right. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, for for you know acknowledging that there's curvature. Appreciate oh no, no no, I didn't acknowledge there's curvature. You missed the point. Oh, sorry. Because because again your again your bunny ears issue is is in your way. Because I've got tons of pilots who will all tell you. That they don't change their trajectory regardless of where they're placed in reference to the poles and the equator. But you, you got pilots, you mean like you own a company and you, you got people working for you? or you see, Oh, oh you see you, perhaps, you, perhaps you don't know who I am. My name's Joshua Michael, and I'm the director, co-director, of a film called The Plain Truth. You can go to theplaintruthmovie.com. 
It's a documentary, and I don't have one pilot. I have lots of pilots. Yep. Some fighter pilots, some some fixed wing pilots. I've got Navy pilots, Air Force pilots. I got pilots coming all over. The place. <laughs> They'll so all tell like, you. You're the same. Big shot, right? big hush, shot. hush, 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 hush. Big Daddy's talking right now. Okay. Daddy's big shot. Talking. talking. Okay. Right? Okay. All of the pilots will all tell you they don't change trajectory in reference to where they're placed in space between the equator and the North Pole. If you are having a problem keeping up with me, I suggest going back to high school that you dropped out of probably and understand the trajectory of an aircraft. Go look up the freaking definition of level. Yeah, it's level. The definition of level is flat. But you have to research and educate yourself before you speak and try to tell that that level of flat is the same thing. I I love this. I love this. This is a high school graduate telling me that I need Ooh, to educate shot myself. The big Not shot big, card. No, big shot. You just you just tried to throw me under the bus and say I needed to educate myself when my education is six years beyond you. But but here's the reason you need to educate yourself, GM. It's because you use the word ball, not sphere, when they're the synonyms and mean the exact same thing. And uh, you try to tell that level and flat is the same. Le- go level they're and synonyms. flat is the same. There's synonyms in the dictionary. Yeah, there's synonyms in the dictionary by words, by semantics. But in real no, world, if are. you want to say para, uh, if you want to say level, hey, genius. you can't be parallel. a synonym. You can't be a synonym and be different. What are they synonyms in the fake world? But in the real world, they're not synonyms. Apparently, you that, educate is, yourself on what the, the word key. synonym is. That's what I don't want to argue semantics. You guys are gonna win every single day in semantics. But let's talk reality. When we fly in a plane, you I'm rise sorry. up to thirty-five thousand feet. Are we feet. not in this reality? Your, yeah, this is this is are your. Are we not in train, reality? GM. Yes, we are. This is your strength, JM. So a plane takeoff, uh, um, a commercial plane, go up to thirty thousand feet, let's say, and then start flying five hundred miles per hour, and they keep fi- uh, thirty thousand feet height going for four hours. Uh, so you think they are just going straight in a straight line in a straight line, and they wow. land, and that's it? According but to the FAA, they, well, they are going its level along with the earth, along with the curve. No, according to the computer, they are flying flat and level. There's something called caging that has flat. to take place. You got to no, you got to provide hold evidence. On, hold on, you got to provide hold evidence. On. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm going to I'm going to do that right now. Hush. Daddy's talking. There's something called caging that a plane and helicopter both have to do I'm to, your their, daddy, brother. to their to their to their No, you're not my daddy. To the gyroscope. Okay? It's you're my caging. bitch, then. You don't call me that. You don't tell you my daddy, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? I said, Daddy speaking. Quiet your mouth and be quiet. Okay? There's something called caging okay. that takes place. That is where the horizon is le- becomes level. The, gy- gy- the gyroscope becomes level to the runway. Now, this is not a computerized piece of equipment. Okay? So, level is flat okay it doesn't you they they calibrate it to the runway bro the runway's flat they don't calibrate it to a curve but to a flat surface that way the plane that's flying you know can stay level and flat okay because if all of a sudden the earth dropped out away from it okay it would still fly into space that's how the physics works. Now, you go educate yourself about how aircraft work. Okay. The triple whammy that you're stuck gonna, with. Can I give I'm, you my final thoughts? I, I got to get out of here. You can, but I'm going to pull something out, something else out here. Do you, are you a pilot? Do you fly? No, I want to give my final thoughts because... Wait, wait. Uh, do you, do you fly? Do you fly? No, I don't. Okay. I, don't, I not I don't only head. went through yeah. avionics courses, I also flew. You probably got... Jam, he's he's got to go. We can say, hey, you can talk after he leaves. Let him give his final thoughts. Let him leave. So, final thoughts. Uh, I think the the crescendo of this debate, well, not debate, this discussion was Jm Truth say he made a claim that planes fly level and flat, and he was unable to provide any evidence. Thank you very much. You're a retard. <laughs> and before I go. 
uh, please rewind this and see who was the respectful one in here. Hey, Jose, Jose, I Thank appreciate you, you being I respectful. Did, it's all good. I didn't, I didn't insult you. I called you a retard. That's pretty insulting, Jam. Come on. It's not a nice truth word. This is true. Sorry. It's not a nice word. Huh? He's devoid of intelligence. Let's say that. That's a better way to put okay. it. Okay. Devoid of intelligence. So I think this is going to be where we end the video today. After that last comment, I don't think there's too much more stupid I can take. And it's quite obvious that JM Truth is a total fucking moron with a complete misunderstanding of what real science is. But JM Truth is a flat earther. And all flat earthers are fucking idiots. Now I'd like to take the time out to thank JM Truth for putting that condom on his head and protecting the rest of us from being infected by flat earth stupidity. Because JM Truth, you are a fucking idiot.